Welcome to Live Doff, your online Doff Yomi Shear. Shalom Aleichem. Welcome back to today's Daf Hayyaymi Nedarim Nunches. We are holding on in Zayin Amit Beis. On the bottom line. So let's briefly recap. We started with a question posed by a person by the name of Yishmael who came from Kfar Dima or Kfar Yama. He wants to know as follows. We have an onion which grew on Shavis. It has Kedusha Shavis. Then it was replanted after Shemitah. And the additional growth outnumbers the original bottle, which is now sort of bottle bereaved. Question Shall we say that the additional growth, which is non Shemitah material, which is mutter, can be mevatel the original and make it mutter as well? Is it bottle bereaved? Or shall we say no? Where did this additional growth come from? Where did it hail? Where did where is it rooted? It's coming from the original. The original produced the additional growth. So you can't use the growth against them, so to speak. The Gedulim, although there are many and numerous, cannot be Mavata the Iker, because they come from the Iker. So the Iker is the primary, they are secondary. They can't override him. Or shall we say no? Ikar is Ikar. Gedul and Agedul. Two separate entities. And we follow the standard Torah formula. Whichever one is the majority wins. That was the question asked. We tended to bring some Rayes from Truma, which was uh, not bought off from Kilaim. We had a couple of attempts. Here comes another raya. Elamina da de Sanya, rather, this uh, following price will provide a source, a raya, to resolve our question. Again, the question is you have an ikr and gidulin. You have the original element and you have the additional growth element. Is the growth separate from the ikr? Or is it related? Is it connected? Does it identify with the ikr? Whatever status the Ikar the Iker has, the Gidulin have. And certainly they can't override and mimavato the Ikar. The Sanya of Shimonite. Called Dover Sheesh Limatirn. Any item which is now restricted or usur. But it has potential to become totally mutter. For instance, can go in Tevel. We have produce, which is Tevel. No Truma, no Master has been separated yet. That thing could become mutter. All you need to do is separate Trumas and Maser. Or Umaser Shani. The Hegdish. Something belonging to Hegdish. These are things that you can redeem. Currently, Aser, but have potential for Heter. The Chadash. The new grain from the new crop. Prior to the bringing of the carbon Ha'imer, which enables that new product to be eaten. It's a limited time restriction. It has matir in it. Therefore, we apply a chumra. Even a small measure of this item gets mixed into a big mix up of other permissible items. It makes it us. We had this discussion way back on the front base. The run had a whole long discourse about it. It's like min bemine, like they're too uh, similar. Uh, too, they're too similar. T O O two, they're too similar to each other. They don't clash. They don't negate each other because the item that fell into the hetter is also sort of like a quasi hetter because it could become what a special chumrah. We don't say betel here, irrespective of how teeny, how minute the iser is. Chachamim did not apply the standard formula. Of shiurim of bittel, even if it's a minute amount, it's not bottle. That's because it's yeshli matir. Chodav or sheila matir, but our standard iser, 
which can never become mutter. Here, uh, the uh, typical bittel formula is applicable. Kigayin truma, or truma smaser, v'chala, right? V'arla, v'kalaya kerem, something planted together with a vineyard. These surim which have no eventual heter, and therefore they follow the standard uh, bittel formulas. Nos nobem chacham shir. We follow the regular shiurim, which of course is that if it fell into something, you know, which is the same type of item, so then when it comes to truma, you need a hundred against it. When it comes to arla and kalei kerem, which are also, um, you know, on top of isra achilat isra hano, so it doubles it from one hundred to two hundred. Has to be overridden by two hundred parts against it. That if it's a, that's if it's the same type of food, if it's a different type of food. We work with the concept of Tom, which is a 60th. Less than a 60th is but. Okay. So who's speaking? Rabbi Shimon. That if it's Ainle Matirim, if it's uh, insignificant, it's but. Right? Ainle Matirim, it's a standard Isser. If it's too little, it's but. Armuloy the Chachamim responded. Well, Shviz. What about a Shmita crop? Which has its own, you know, halachas, restrictions, limitations, its own mitzvahs. You must eat it before the time of biur, which means while it's still available for the animals out in the field, past what you can't eat it, even when you can eat it. It has to be in a regular manner. You can't destroy it. You can't engage in commerce with peiro shviyas, all types of halachas, right? Well, shviyas ain't lamatir. There's no potential heter there. There's no eventual heter. V'loi nos shir. And we still find that irrespective of how much shviz it is, a minute amount would make it harayvis asr. And the Ram says, this can come in two forms. Either an actual mix-up, they have a bit of shviz fruit got mixed in to other fruit which are mutter, or gidulin, and that pertains to us. For instance, says the run, batzal shishis, shenata b'shviz. You take a a sixth year onion, which is not shviz, and was planted on shviz, and suddenly you have growth. The onion turned into ten. And the first onion, of course, remains intact. That's called ein zari kala. You still have the original intact. But it's, it extended. It grew into another bunch of onions. In which case we say, even if the original onion is totally outnumbered, is outquantified by the new additional growth, which is not shviyas, it doesn't matter. We have to reckon with it. We can't ignore the shviyas element within this whole arrangement. This none, as we find in a Mishnah. Hashviyas Eiser is called Shubamina. Even if the Shviyas element is minute, it's tiny. One onion grew into 20. It's the same min, right? Onion and onion. And we say the, uh, the Shviyas growth, right? Part of Grun Shvius, the the additional growth. Um, it's considered Isra. I mean, sorry, even if the cultural means even if the growth was just a drop. Let's backtrack a second. Hashvius Aisiras cultural meaning means like this. That you have the bottle of shishis, which is permissible. It was replanted on Shemitah, and just a little bit. Got added on Shemitah. That's called Koshu Bamina, it's the same in. We say that what? That that additional Shviyas growth is also. So what do we see from here? Even though Shemitah is a standard Isser, it's not, it's not slated for Heter, it's not Dabar Shiyesh Lematir, even if it's just a drop in the mix, it remains also. Armel Henry, Rabbi Shimon responded. That's not a kasha on my, uh, on my rule of thumb. Af, and the, the Ran is Geras, Af Hamli Amra al Bir. When they said, 
What is they meaning? In the Mishnah, when the Mishnah says, a drop of Shemitah creates Isra in the, in the mix, they have a speaking. You know when? Elul beer. Before the Zman of beer. So again, beer means you must hasten, you must consume your produce before it is no longer available for the animals out in the field. At which point you have to get rid of what you have. So Shvi'as pre-beer is totally mutter, even though it's about to become asr. Sooner or later, that's called yesh matir. It has potential to be consumed better. Just eat it up quickly. Hasten your consumption before the time of Isra comes. So we treat it as a davar sheyesh matir. And even a small measure of that shmita produce can affect the rest. Avala but if it's post beer, you're obligated to get rid of what you have. You can't eat it anymore. Then it's considered actual isr. We treat it like every other ordinary isr. But nice and time. Okay, so the uh, ordinary rule of, of, of bittel applies if it's a uh, 60 or, uh, you know, if it's less than a 60, it's bottle. It has to have the ability to contribute time into the mix. Okay, so that was his response to the kasha, which was meant to solidify his, his formula. Dovar she'esh lematirn is never bottle. Dovar she'esh lematirn has bittel. Bottom line, what pertains to us is as follows. What are we speaking about? Again, we have a, an onion from the sixth year crop, which is totally mutter, a non shviz entity, reimplanted on Shemitah, produces some additional growth. What do we say? That additional growth is totally separate. They don't say, well, uh, the growth came from where? From the original onion, which is not Shemitah. Let the growth assume the same status as the original? No. We treat the growth as a separate entity, as an independent existence. It's Shemitah related and is Asr. And likewise, let's say the growth would be uh, just the opposite. The Iker would be Asr and the growth would be Mutter. Since it's considered separate, there's enough there to override, to be mevatal the it could be bottle. It's all one of the same formula, the same one of the same, you know, idea. Gidulin is separate from the ikra. That's a right to our question. The question was, Gidulin drawn from the original, do they relate to him or are they considered separate? They're separate. So if the original is mutter and they're asr, they can still be asr. If the original is Asr, and they are mutter, and they override, they're mavatal, the original, they're, they're the majority factor, and the original is batal, because the gedun stand alone. Answers the Gemara. There's no riot from here. Vidumachanami l'chumra. L'chumra shani. Here we're speaking that the gedulin are creating a problem. The original vegetable is mutter. The gedulin are shviz. So you see that the gedulin can create issues. We have to reckon with them. L'chumra. But who's to say that they are considered so separate and so independent an entity that they would have the ability to nullify the Iker and make the Iker mutter. So in the reverse case, if the Iker is Asr and their mutter, they can even the Iker. You have to arrive from here. Here we're speaking. The original onion is mutter and the additional Shemitah growth is Asr. Okay. We'll let them be. We'll treat them as separate entities with respect to their Issa. But who says we grant them the ability to override the Iker, make the Iker mutter, when the Iker is Asr and, and they're trying to be Matur? That's going a step further. Who says? Elman Adob Pashta, rather, Rab Ami, responded on the following Mishnah to prove his case. To prove that Gidulin can be Mavant the Iker. To that extent. So you have sixth year onions, which uh, you know are still on the ground Shemitah time, and well, they were they were actually uprooted before Shemitah and replanted. Whatever it is, you see some new uh, additional growth on Shemitah. 
Suddenly you see more leaves. Shiyar Dalem Gesham and Simchu, it's raining. And after which you see new leaves. How do we treat these leaves? Where are they coming from? The permissible uh, onion. But when did they grow on Shemitah? So how do we um, relate to these to these uh, additional you know leaves? If the additional growth, the leaves are very darkish green. Apparently they're really being nurtured properly, getting their yanika from the karka of shmita. They relate to the shmita growth cycle and have kedusha shviz. But hayriku, if they're just you know bland green, light green, which in the case that not not really getting proper nutrition, not really growing off the ground, they were just sprouting off the original onion. Mutarin, we treat them as permissible. They're considered part of the original onion, which is a sixth-year crop. Rabbi Chanin and Tignus Omer, we apply a different formula. We check the firmness of these leaves. If the onions can be uprooted, simply by grabbing the leaves, which indicates firmness, then you know they're properly nurtured, they're coming off the ground on Shemitah Asurin, they're considered Shemitah produce. Ukenegdon this is the key phrase. Correspondingly, if you would have a similar configuration, instead of going from the sixth year to the seventh year, you have the seventh year onions, Shemitah onions, which are still on the ground, into the eighth year. And you have these leaves, etc., etc. What do we say? That if it turns out that the leaves are current leaves, they're dark and they're firm, they are mutter. They have no Kedusha Shviyas. Not only that, if there's enough um, growth in those leaves which override the original onion, they're Mavatali onion. Remember, the Gedule Heter, Malan is Isra. We see clearly. Additional Heter growth is considered so separate an entity from the original that there's more in the additional than the original that's Mavata the original makes it a mutter. And here we're speaking Leheter. That's a solid raya. That Gidulin have their own status. One second, Vidilma perhaps Bimidu Khanan. We are speaking that he took the onion of Shmita and give it a, like a slight crush. In which case it lost its form, it lost its Chashivus, and then he replanted it. Now we say Gidula not stronger because it no longer is Chashiv, doesn't have that same prominence as a onion which is in its original form intact. And perhaps in this case, we can allow the Gidula to play a stronger role, to override the original. But if it's something really intact, perhaps the Gidula identify with the original and they can't override him. So we have no riot from here. Okay, try again. Elamin Adod, the sound you rather from the following price. You have a kusi, a fellow whose uh, you know, conversion is questionable, not really so meticulous in terms of halachis, of master, etc. So you have an upright Israel who's do- doing work in a kusi's farm, a kusi's vegetable patch. Hamanachi, she's weeding, you know, pulling out some leaves with the kusi bechasiyos. Amongst the uh, you know onion, uh, garlic, or whatever this this uh, family, this type of family of vegetables, uh, and he's pulling out the the leaves. He treats the growth as regular tevel, which allows a snack. Allah is until you actually you know complete the uh, the process. Of preparing the uh, fruit and the vegetable for consumption or marketing, you could still have a, a snack, a chilas arai, before you do the trumas and mas. That's the halach. And the chilas here is: don't think that perhaps um, you know the uh, let's say the onion leaves here were really tevel before planting. You know it was already harvested and it was process was finished. It was nigma and it turned into real tevel, which doesn't even allow a snack. 
and that was replanted. Now he's picking from that, which would preempt even Achila Sarai. No, we're not choshesh for that. We treat it as regular, uh, you know, uh, pre tevel produce, which is mutar Achila Sarai, um Asran Vadai. Suppose he goes and he purchases these onions from the Yakuti. We treat it as regular tevel, and uh, you take off Masr. There's no concern that the Yakuti had already done that. Okay, Rabbi Shimon ben Allah Zerayman, Im Yisrael Choshed al Suppose you're working, uh, you have a job in a farm owned by a Yisrael who's not really meticulous with the laws of Shviz. And it's now the eighth year. Okay, so you have onions there, which uh, had developed, had grown in the seventh year. Or at least you're concerned that it, you know that he uh, he grew them in the seventh year. And now it's the eighth year, and you have additional growth. You have um, you know all the extra additional growth, which is you know more numerous, uh, greater in quantity than the uh, shmita element within this plant. Okay, what's the Allah? Matzah shvi is mutter. So after shvi is in the eighth year, you can partake in this produce. Why? The original is asr. Here we go. The additional heter growth, the eighth year aspect of this onion, overrides the seventh year aspect and is mavatalit. Apparently, gedulah is separate from the yikr, and here it's the kula. That's a right, Alkosh. Asks the Gemara. You know, this whole discussion, this whole sugya, speaking about. Very specific vegetables who are not zarei kola. Zarei kola means that the, the seed which was planted disintegrates, it dissipates. We're not speaking about that. That wouldn't be a question. Of course, the, if, the, if the original zara is no longer here, the gedulah is separate. We're speaking that the original onion is still here. It's ain zarei kola. The plant, the, 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 um, the seed which was used to generate this additional growth, is still there, it's still intact. And that generates, that triggers the whole circuit, shall we say, the growth. Is rooted in that original aspect, or is it a that original element, or is it a separate element? So perhaps over here, where the halacha indicates that the gedulin are separate and can override the original, is speaking specifically when the original is no longer here. He's no longer here to speak of him. Well, that can't be. Hatanya, the Bryce explains, Elohen chasiyes. What type of vegetables are included in this chasiyes, you know, umbrella? Very specific vegetables who remain intact after planted. You go in haluf, some type of vegetable, hashum, garlic, rabbit, salmon, onions. Clearly, we're speaking that the original is here. And we see the gedula treated separately. That's a right, our question. Well, vidilma bimedu chanan. Again, maybe we're speaking that he crushed the original before he put it into the ground. And a crushed onion doesn't have the same ability. There, for sure, we say the gedulin don't relate to the original. Well, chashad al shviz katani. Why do you suggest that uh, this fellow did? Why would he bother crushing his onions before planting them? He's a fellow who's not not really too concerned, unfortunately, with hilchas shviz. Why would he try to, uh, you know, circumvent the uh, isra of shviz if he's not really a fellow too concerned about shmita? So, was, apparently, we're speaking. Let's let's assume we're speaking about the standard, a standard situation. Typical farmer who takes. Onions intact and planted them. And we see the Gedulin can override. Says the Gemara. Maybe we're speaking that the Chasiyas uh, of Israel got mixed into others that are mutter and became bottle bread like that. A different type of bittel, not uh, growth related, just got mixed in with other vegetables. And that's why it's mutter. Well, Hamanakish what Ketoni. What is the case over here? Menachish, he's weeding right off the ground, eating it off the ground. There's no, uh, you know, products that were mixed up with each other. So bottom line is, we have no other way but to explain it as we did. You have an onion, which is asr, which remains intact, creates additional growth, which is considered separate, which has the ability to mevatel the original. Okay, leima tavet yufte drabi with Rabbi Yenison. Remember yesterday, we had Rabbi Yechanan and Rabbi Yenison both telling us differently. Gedulim can't be mevatel the Iker. And here we have a clear brysa which allows it to happen. Is there any way to draw a line, 
to make a distinction between halachis of shemita, where the new growth has its own separate independent chashivas and can actually change the status of the entire plant with its original element of Isra, can totally transform it between that and other types of Isra, like Truma and Kalaya Kerem or Arla, which we discussed yesterday. Yes, Amr Rabbi Yitzchak, I'll tell you how. Shanyo Shvi'is. Anything that Shvi'is related is to- totally different. You know why? Hayal vi Yisura Aide Karka. Let's keep in mind. Anything related to Shvi'is is Karka related, as the Ran explains, because the Alachis of Shvi'is are rooted in the Pasuk Vayikra Chafei Vishavsa Aretz Shabbos Lashem. So Shemitah growth and all its limitations and restrictions therein are related to the Aretz. It's so different than, let's say, you know, Arla. The reason why this tree is now Asr is because it's within the three-year period. The tree next door is Mutter. Right? The tree down the block is Mutter. <laughs> let's take Kilayim. The reason for Isra is not because it grew out of this land, it's because it was mixed in with other other types. Shemitah is unique in a sense that it is karka related. It is strictly and purely growth related. Anything that relates to this year's a growth cycle. Anything that the Oretz produces this year is Shemitah. Since the Isra is rooted in the karka, so something growing on the seventh year is Kedusha Shvi is because it was produced by Shmita Karka, by Shmita land. Betelasa Nami Ade Karka. Likewise, if it lingers into the eighth year and it grows, and it grows way more in the eighth than in the seventh. So the eighth year growth, the portion of this onion plant, which is related to the eighth year crop, the eighth year growth cycle, surpasses the seventh year element within it. It creates a, a new entity. It transitions. It gets transformed. It is now considered an eighth year growth. Therefore, says the Gemara, we can certainly understand this halach of the onions. A seventh year onion, which is still on the ground during the eighth year, where additional growth was created, which surpasses, which outnumbers, outquantifies the seventh year element found therein allows for an easy battle because it now relates to the eighth year it's an eighth year growth and this is unique to Shemitah which is related to it's a growth related concept a character related concept so perhaps Dafka over here we say the Gedulim have the ability to override the Iker, but elsewhere by Truma, Mas, or, you know, Kalayim, all that, we don't know. The jury is still out on that. Asks the Gemara, well, what about the halacha of Mas? Which also seems to be growth-related. Chi of Mas is triggered by growth. It grows as Chai of And we don't apply this concept. We don't allow the, the, the Gidol, which grew better to override the original master element found in this plant, very master. So you have Tevel, and then you separate the 10%, you give it to the Levi, who was meant to take 10% from that, through master, master, and give it to the Kain. So you have master, which was not yet attended to in terms of through master. The Yisrael de Karka, it gets its Issa through growth, meaning it grew, it became Chayv and master. So the master is Karka related. And you take it and replant it. We don't allow the new growth to override the original growth. We don't apply this concept the same that we do by Shemitah. The Sanya, as we find in a Brisa, a litra of Master. You have a measure, a litra of Master. Tevel, meaning it's been given to the Levi, who had not yet removed Trumas Master from it. Shazar Bakaka, then it was replanted. Vishbichanet created additional growth. Produced, you know, tenfold. Vareika as sir literally turn into ten for one into ten. Chayvas b'master b'shvias. 
So, as Iran explains, the original litra is still treated as there. Not but only in the, you know, in the uh, tenfold amount. It's still considered maser, rishon, which needs to be attended to. Meaning, you have to still remove the turmas maser, which is sitting in there. With shvius, this is another example, let's say it was, um, you know, a non shmita related product planted, now it's shmita. So it was one or turned to ten, so it's mostly shmita. And shmita, of course, is hefker, no chiv of maser. It is not mavatal, that original uh, onion which you planted. There's no bittal. Voice of Litra, that original measure, which is Maser. How do you take care of it? You can't remove Turmas Maser directly from this mix, because most of it is not Maser. Rather, you find another source. Maser Oleo, Mimokim Acher Lefi Cheshman. You find another Maser Rishon sitting somewhere. You take extra Turmas Maser from there to account for this. Litra, which is still uh, considered Maser Rishon. Question, why is it considered Maser Rishon? It should be bottle. It turned into ten. It's bottle. And the word is assuming, just as Shemitah is karka related, it's growth related, and therefore if it mostly grew in the new year, in the eighth year, it nullifies the Shemitah aspect of it. Here as well, Maser is triggered by growth. Something grows, produce which grows is chayv and mas. So if it grew mostly in a, in a permissible manner, it should be mavata the, the, uh, the master. Amri, the answer is a big difference. Master, when it comes to chi of master, sure, it first needs to grow out of the ground, but that's step one. But phase two, which actually triggers the chi of master, is digan the kagaram law. When it turns into a dugan, a pile, which is, you know, you know it's stored like dugan, that, it's just like a, a mashal for gemar malacha. It's not just pertaining to, uh, oh, I mean, the rice, uh, yeah, it's only by Dogan, but let's say when it comes to other uh, like trum, uh, vegetables and all that, so whatever is considered the, the Gemar Malach, when it comes to, um, you know, olives and, and grapes, whatever is considered a finished product, that generates, that triggers the Chiv Masr. So it isn't necessarily a, a growth related, uh, you know, Chiv. Growth is first, uh, first. that's obviously uh, required. But phase two, which is the main trigger point, is the digon. And therefore, you can't apply the same you know, concept that we apply by, by, by shvius. Since you have a chiv element here, even though you replant it and you have way more that is non-chiv, you can't allow, perhaps you can't allow, the additional growth, which comes from the original, yes, sir, to override it and be Because the original still relates to Isser. It was never transformed into Hatter, as opposed to Shemitah. We, the original was replanted and, and or stayed in the ground into the Shemitah. So it sort of regrew. <laughs> it was relabeled as part of the eighth year um, you know, growth cycle, the eighth year crop. It assumes new status and it's considered an eighth year product. So bottom line is, we didn't really come to so much conclusion on that whole question. We'll continue by the term tomorrow. Let's backtrack. Question was, you have something which is asr, an onion which is shviyas, which is truma, etc., etc. It created additional growth. How do we treat the additional growth? Is it separate or is it connected? We can have two, you know, applications. You have uh, the additional growth being Asr versus the original, which is Mutter, shall we say, is treated separately, and therefore the, the growth is Asr, irrespective of the fact that the original is Mutter. And you could have it the reverse. The original is Asr, and the additional growth is Heter, and it's Roy, it's more numerous. Does it, does it create Beta on the original? So one thing is for sure when it comes to Shemitah, the fact that it allowed itself to uh, create additional growth, it uh, and now relates to the new season, to the new year, that transforms even the, the, the original element. 
who is now considered, who now identifies with a new product, with a new year's growth. Another thing we learned is that if the original onions or whatever is, is crushed a bit, so it loses its chashivas, in which case the, the gedulim have their own status. They're not bought to the original, which is not really chashiv. When it comes to other uh, issues like kalayim and truma, we uh, have not yet really concluded on that. All the best to you and have much, much hasloch.